Hey there, we're Rhett and Claire, full-time travelers from South Africa. In the previous video, we hit up all the iconic destinations in New York City, like Times Square, Grand Central Station, Broadway, the New York Public Library, and the High Line. Today, we're ticking off some more iconic New York City activities. But first, let's give you a review of the Harry Potter Broadway show. Review. I'm convinced that one of two things happened during that show. Number one, either they gave us drugs in our drinks and we were hallucinating, <laughs> or number two, they used real magic to do that production because that was one of the Unreal. most incredible things we have ever witnessed in our lives. I cannot even explain to you how they did some of the stunts. Like, it looked like real magic. It was, like it a was David bizarre. Copperfield and Harry Potter show mixed together. It was unbelievable. Yeah, see, that was just mind blowing, wow. honestly. And the acting was like out of this world. Oh my gosh. The acting performances, the were lighting, impeccable. the set, the, the costumes. Oh my gosh. It's something you have to do in your lifetime. You, you have, have to. to. Literally, so we actually booked tickets on today Tix app for the show prehand, and it wasn't actually that expensive considering the whole production. And oh, we blown out here, I think. Yeah, it wasn't that expensive, and it's actually totally worth it. You have to do it, and the whole area around Broadway is also so cool. It's so beautiful. It's like out of this world. It like, was like fifty dollars, which is like eight, seven, seven, eight hundred grand per person worth it worth every cent yeah so do that don't make any compromises save your money and make sure you do that today we are doing everything we didn't get done yesterday and maybe Times Square again because that was amazing so off to the Central Park for breakfast with cousin Ty isn't that just a cute outfit from Clary today even the hair is so cute Perfect timing. Bought the M train. I'm out of breath though. <laughs> Getting around the city is becoming pretty cool. It's actually quite fun. I uh, highly recommend using Apple Maps instead of Google Maps. It's just far more detailed. And they put up last, the tourist landscapes on the map, which is actually really handy. Uh, yeah, so just follow those prompts step by step. It becomes quite a fun thing, at least for someone that likes to navigate. Quick subway review. <laughs> so the parts are manky AF. Really bad, but other parts are not so bad. Most are pretty bad. <laughs> and at night time, it's uh, super interesting because the uh, strange people come out to play. And uh, yeah, it's eerie and a weird experience at night. How long of this tiling is it taking? Yeah. And some parts of it, the entire wall is tiled. And Very this is how it goes on for yeah. kilometers, and there's just this tiling everywhere. And it's, you can see it's been hand tiled. Look. How crazy, how long would that have taken to do? Yes, yeah, And how many people? Oh yeah. I'm sure they had a lot of hands. Yeah, this is um, definitely a case where you want to take your shoes off as soon as you get to the front door and not walk through the apartment. This is, yeah. But imagine how tough it must be to clean this underground. Really a tough, tough task, especially during these times. Total 
whole journey was about 35 minutes from Williamsburg to 72nd Street. Super efficient. This was, I think, like $5. It's double Americano with oat milk. So yeah, for three coffees, around $20. Not too bad, considering this is like supposed to be one of the more affluent areas in New York City. Beautiful to walk down these streets. Wow, what a morning. Also, it's really not cold at all. I'm like just wearing something I'd wear back in Johannesburg. Tracksuit pants, little jersey with a t-shirt underneath. I wish to be so much better. I wish to be, I wish to be me. Next up is bagels. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, that was Zucker's Bagels, apparently a popular spot for the bagels. I think it's one of Tyrant's favorites. Bagels were around $8 each, so $23 for three of us. Bacon, egg, and cheese, which were delicious. So, so good. Oh, and spring is in the air. So would this be um, like a vulture? Imagine these streets to be so beautiful in the spring and in the autumn. Looking forward to coming back in April to see how the city has transformed. Cabbages <laughs> that look like flowers. Hello, Mona. I reach through mysterious ceilings, my only hope. I look for the things I love. Welcome to Central Park West. Park's super dead right now, but I mean, all the trees are dead. I imagine this would be absolutely stunning in the summer. The ending goes honest, honestly don't. Mr. Squirrel. Oh man, this is so cool. This is like the ultimate playground. Horse carriages, bicycles, people running, dog walking. Skateboarding, rollerblading, millions of trees, lots of things to see, lots of little treasures that apparently aren't on the map that you gotta go out there and find, lots of monuments and statues, and it's huge, absolutely massive. <laughs> ceiling. It's so peaceful, birds chirping, music playing. Awesome. How's Central Park, Cleary? It's great. I can imagine it being way more beautiful during summer and spring though, but it's still so beautiful. There's so many trees I'd love to see. Leaves and flowers on them. But yeah, it's huge and it's very like hilly so you can't actually just stand and look out can't comprehend how big it is, I guess only if you start walking. Today is actually such a nice, warm, a sunny summer day. Well, winter summer day. 
reminds me of the Johannesburg winters. The sun just warms you up, it's about 10 degrees Celsius. <laughs> If I could take you back to my youth and show you what I wish I knew, my will is strong with a place to leave. So, my cousin Tyron here is convinced that this lake is in Stuart Little. I just like to believe that it is. I beg to differ. So, yeah, so Stuart Little, I'm getting that, and also Enchanted, the movie. I don't know if I'm the only person that really watched that. No, Do you know Enchanted? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's that musical, and it's a lot of it was based in Central Park. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't introduced my cousin yet, but this is Tyron Watson. He's actually not my cousin, he's my mom's cousin. <laughs> but I've claimed Close him enough. now. Yeah, that's true. We're the same, We're age, the same age, basically, like a year apart. And uh, he lives in New York City. Lucky bastard. It's beautiful, yeah. <laughs> and he's a yoga instructor. So if you guys want to do yoga in New York City, like that sounds dreamy. I'll put the link of the studio yeah, right come here. Come to class. Come to class. <laughs> it's not I just think. any yoga though. It's like helps with all the back pains and all your What's problems the, that you can it? have in your body. What's yeah, the name give again? us a promo. Katona yoga. <laughs> Katona yoga. <laughs> yes, that's. Oh my gosh, he's actually got a class tonight. Tonight. Well, today. Yeah. <laughs> but he's spending the day with us, and then we obviously. Oh, we haven't told the vlog yet, but we are going to come back to New York City in a few weeks' time because. There's just too much to do here. So much Three to days do. is not enough. Too little time, we have to come back. So I'm sure we'll see you again in the vlog. <laughs> yes! In the moment I hung desperately, the other ring of my wrist is gold. Pairing with the light it holds. When I return from my spinning ball, I'm remembering the words you told. Okay, Ty, where are we? Uh, we've just come off Park Avenue on the Upper East Side. Okay, and I'm getting hints of bougie. It is super bougie here, super fancy. There's butlers everywhere and really beautiful, rich looking people. And uh, oh, the streets are like immaculate here, very clean. And there's lots of these canopies, these iconic New York canopies everywhere like leading into the buildings it's quite awesome as i stopped recording there a guy came past <laughs> a guy came past on his bike bicycle and he shouted at the dude in front of me and he's like the f are you doing man and then was it last night on the subway there was yeah. a dude that was preaching and uh the one dude in the subway was like man get the f out of here <laughs> New York City is literally like it is in the literally movies. like it is in the movies. I feel like I am in a movie myself. Come on, make it up. Now we are sitting at the bottom here having coffee at one of the like coffee stand things here. And we have beautiful views of Empire State Building as well. Here we go. Yeah, this is good. The vibes are great. So many people on the streets and so many awesome buildings to look at. And apparently the Friends experience is around the corner here. And the 
Harry Potter store as well. Um, we won't be doing those now, but maybe when we come back uh, in a few weeks' time. Apparently, the Friends is only open from Friday to Sunday, so keep that in mind. It's official. Our bodies are giving in. So much. We've been doing like 15,000 steps a day. Yeah. And uh, my feet are giving up on me and my lower back and Rhett as well. She's wearing $10 shoes, everyone. That's the mistake. <laughs> we just picked up some snacks from we'll show the you deli now. downstairs. We're going to chill for a bit and then carry on later. There's a lot of walking in New York City. You really have to be prepared for it and wear good, good shoes. This is what we got at the Gourmet Deli. Two Gatorades, two noodle cup things, box of pineapple, two bananas and a Mars bar. And that was all $16. 200 Rand? Not too bad. Pretty fair. <laughs> Not too spicy at least, but very good. It's also my first time drinking a Gatorade. Gatorade. It's actually really good. It's like a Powerade and an Energade mixed in one. Very yummy, this blue flavor is so tasty. Wanna try Gatorade for the first time? I've tried it in Where? Vietnam. Oh. Mm, it's yummy. Mm. I haven't tried this red Gatorade though. Gatorade. Yes, like. <laughs> I translate yes, like for our American friends. It's oh my god. Just like what's the name from French? Janet. Janet. Oh my god. That's very different tasting. Heavens. Oh yeah, there's nothing. I quite like this flavor back home. Like a sweetie. Mm, fruit punch, yummy. Mm, they're from, I nearly said Nan Phi, <laughs> Vietnam. We're from Nan Phi. We're from Nan Phi. And these are from Vietnam. 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 In Korean they say V instead of V. Mm. Vietnam. For those that don't know, the slurping and the noisy eating is a sign of extreme satisfaction and that the food is good. I watch too many K-dramas to not slurp. Mmm, <laughs> that. Nani. Enak. Oopsie, I didn't even know. Guys, look at this cute little foot that's an injured foot now. Look People don't want to see injured toes. It's weird. Ow, I thought it was sore. I didn't realize. <sighs> New York yeah. walking is not for the faint-hearted. It's worth it, though. Totally. <laughs> it's um like five thirty, and we are pretty shattered. I'm like falling asleep here. Unfortunately, yeah, we decided not to go out. We're supposed to do Rockefeller's roof or whatever. The top rock. of the rock top of the and rock cats's daily for dinner or well, actually we we're supposed to do cats's daily for lunch but decided to take one for the team and to just stay in because we've got a very early train ride tomorrow morning like very early and i got a lot of tim and finn work to do so 
yeah, we need to stay in, get the work done. But we will be back in New York for three more days of adventures. So yeah, we'll try and cover everything there is to do in New York. Stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. We're off to Boston on the Amtrak for the first time. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, the station looks unbelievable. It looks so cool. See you then. Bye. Bye.